In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with documents in terms of uh, uploading, downloading, checking in, and checking out. From your site, you can upload a, a document, for example, Word document, into the website by going to the libraries. And in the libraries, you have a few library items. So these are actually uh, libraries. Uh, these are actually libraries. Um, you can create a new library, or you can use an existing uh, library. For, for example, share the documents. So I'm going to go ahead and click on share the documents link. And in the share the documents library, I click on add document and then click on browse and in my team project folder I have a file called once upon a time and I can click on open and uh, click on OK and it is download uh, it is uploaded so that's how you upload it by clicking on by going to the library and clicking on add the documents okay now i'm going to show you how to download it so let's say someone else uploaded this document and then you want to download it so hover over the name and then you will see this download um downward triangle and then click on edit in microsoft word so go ahead and click on it don't worry about this. This is my own computer thing. And it opens into my Word application on my computer. So I'm going to put my password first. Um, and it opens up in my Microsoft Word on my document, on my computer. So let me just go ahead and and uh, let's say once upon a time there was a rabbit named Peter. He was so and so. Okay, so I'm done with this. So I can go ahead and click on this save and update button, or I can go to this file, save, and now it is saved. Let's go ahead and click on just close that and go back to SharePoint site and then again just to see if that is updated or not I can just download it again by um, opening in uh, Microsoft Word okay again my password yep it is it has the updated version so that's what that's how you download it and now I want to talk briefly about what checking in and checking out is about so if you work with a uh, number of people on a same document you may sometimes want to check out so that is a checkout option so that no one else in your team can edit it. They can download it and they can view it, but they cannot edit it. So basically you are just locking in and just only you can um, edit it. So let me check out. Okay, so it's giving me some information. You are with the checkout and okay click on okay so I checked out so if I hover over and click on the uh, the option button and now it is checked out because the only option that I have is check in so while I checked out no one else can edit the document so since I checked out I should edit it so edit in Microsoft Word click on OK I'm going to put my password one more again, once again. 
So he was, let's say, a very happy boy. And save it, close it. Okay, so it says, when I close it, it says, other users cannot see your change until you check in. So do you want to check in? Well, yes, I'll check in. So um, virgin comments, let's say I added, added a sentence. Click on OK, and it's closed. Now it is checked in because the only option that I have is checked out. So that's how check in and check out works. So let's take a look at another way, another place that you can access this document or file. So if you go back up to um, browse, just change the browse and then um, click on the site name, site title, project new start. So on the home page of the site, guess what? We have a web part for share share the document and there is the file once upon a time and you can you have the exactly the same menu here so you can do the same thing that I just showed you um, to do in the uh, shared documents uh, library so at least there there's a two way to access the same uh, document so Okay, so another situation is that when you work on a document with a number of people and at the same time, so you may, or well, same period, um, you may want to make sure that everybody is on the right track in terms of who did what part and um, how much. So in terms of our versioning, you want to uh, have some kind of a guideline and more or less a structure. So to set up the versioning um, scheme, you go to the library. And once you go to the library, then you will have a library tools tab. And then under that, you click on library ribbon. Okay, and then far right side, you will see library setting. By the way, um, library setting is a place that you can actually control a lot of things like uh, behaviors and uh, permissions and a lot of things that you want to control certain item, not just library item, but uh, list items or the sites and that sort of kind of things. That's where you come the settings and then you can have a lot of choices and options in terms of controlling uh, the way that particular item uh, behaves or uh, works. So here under the uh, document library setting I click on the version versioning settings and then there are a few options here um, we don't need to worry about approval. I'm going to say in terms of uh, versioning history, I'll say uh, created major and minor. So we'll have a 1.0, 1.1, 1.2. And then if that's something major uh, edition, then I'll have a full number. OK, so um, any user can read it. Yes, that's okay. And require documents to be checked out before they can be edited. Um, hmm. I don't sure. Why not? I'll say yes. And then go ahead and click on OK. So I set up the versioning uh, scheme for um, my uh, the shared documents. So let me go here, and let's say check. Um, let's say, go ahead and edit in uh, Microsoft Word because it's going to ask you to uh, 
be aware about the diversioning thing. So click on OK because I selected the particular uh, option. Two zero. Uh, no. Um, let's say he was happy boy. He had a sister. Period. And I'm gonna say file, save. So it is saved. And then I'm gonna close it, exit. Okay, so other users cannot see your change until you check in so do you want to check in yes i'll check in and here it's asking uh what kind of version would you like to check in so this is something minor change or is it something major change well i added a sentence so it's a minor so i put a comment i added a sentence and then click on ok now it's closed and it's checked in and because I know it's checked in because I know I can check out okay so that's it and um, if you want to see um, the history of a versioning you can just point at it and then now you can see um, version history so click on it and there you go. It shows what what day, what time, by whom, any comments, and so on. So that's basically how the versioning works.